Good morning. Today I'd like to talk with you very briefly about what it means to be mission-driven. St. Teresa of Calcutta, formerly Mother Teresa, famously stated, if I ever become a saint, surely I will be one of darkness. I will continually be absent from heaven to light the light of those in darkness on earth. St. Teresa of Calcutta is the epitome of mission-driven. So strong was her commitment to light the light of those in darkness on earth that even in death, she was willing to deprive herself of the joy of heaven to continue her mission on earth. From the age of 36, every day of her life was spent bringing the light of God's love to those in darkness. Her relentless pursuit of her mission was so visible, in fact, that the world came to know this Catholic nun, this tiny Catholic nun, has a giant in her commitment to those in need. Although we could never live up to the standard of St. Teresa, I do wonder what life on our campus would look like if all of us, adults and students, had this relentless pursuit of our mission. What would the cafeteria look like? What would the commons look like? What about mass, theology class, or, or any class? If serving God by being open to growth, intellectually competent, loving, religious, and just permeated every aspect of our campus, was at the heart of our thoughts, decisions, and actions. Imagine what these places would look like. I'm sure we all agree, <coughs> excuse me, that that is a goal worth pursuing. One thing I've learned in my many years in education is that if you want to achieve a goal, you have to start by looking at your current state. You have to start by looking at where you are right now in relation to what you want to achieve. Your teachers and counselors did just this in the opening days of the school year. They analyzed their classrooms, their actions, their teaching strategies, to see how aligned they were with our mission. And now I want to begin that process with you. This is just a start. I want to give you some questions to ponder as you go through your day, through your week, through your year, to have these questions in the back of your mind and to gauge how you're doing in relation to our mission. So let's start with open to growth. Are you open to the views of others, open to new ideas? Or do you ridicule ideas and people who are different than you? Do you courageously take advantage of opportunities, knowing you could fail? Are you beginning to realize that failure is a necessary component of growth? There is no success without failure. How do you react when confronted with challenge? They say that people react in two ways, either action or excuses. Do you act with action, or do you provide excuses for your inaction? Under religious, the second characteristic in our mission statement, do you appreciate your theology teachers, the depth of their knowledge, their passion, as they help you to build a stronger understanding of your faith and instruct you on how to live a good life? Do you take advantage of the sacraments offered on our campus? Daily Eucharist, confession, to grow in your relationship with God? Do you participate in Mass, not slumped over, barely awake, but actually engaged in listening? Do you allow the Mass to give you direction for how you should live your life? And what about retreats? 
Do you participate fully so you can hear the voice of God in your life? Intellectually competent. Third characteristic. Are you appreciative of those teachers who push you harder? Are you beginning to realize the reason they push you so hard that they care deeply about your future? Do you engage in class? Do you care about the learning now? Do you try to understand it while you're there, asking clarifying questions, making those neural connections, and using them at night as you do your homework? Is your work your own? Are you beginning to realize if you don't do your own work and learn from your own mistakes, you'll never be intellectually competent? Do you challenge yourself academically? Do you take the harder courses, at least a couple, so that you can be challenged to grow academically, or do you always take the path of least resistance? Fourth, committed to justice. Around the world, sure. Easy to say, you're committed to justice, to feeding the hungry. But what about right here on campus, in our home here? Do you stand up for what's right, even if you'll be ridiculed? In the cafeteria, in the commons, in the hallway? Are you committed to giving everyone an opportunity to learn in the classrooms? Do you rob your classmates of that opportunity by having to be the center of attention? Or are you respectful, keeping the environment conducive for learning? Do you believe in the dignity of every person on this campus? And even more important, do you stand up to protect the dignity of every person on this campus? And lastly, loving. Do we put others first, or are we totally preoccupied with our own needs? Do we help out others with compassion and love and for no other reason at all? Are we respectful of our classmates and teachers? As St. Teresa would advise, do you do ordinary things with extraordinary love? And don't forget, love means loving yourself as well. Do you take care of yourself and stay away from things that could be dangerous, could harm you? So these are questions, and again, just the beginning. Questions for you to ponder, questions that will help you see how close or far you are, from what we're all trying to achieve here. Some of you may be close, some of you may be miles away. There's nothing to worry about. This is our mission together. This is our work that we do together, supporting each other. So let's start now asking Mother Mary to help us align all we do to our mission. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Teresa of Calcutta, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand for the pledge.